Hello, everyone. Welcome to the U.S. Open Health Desk presented to you by Mount Sinai Medical Center. I am your host, Shauna Ryan, and joining me today is Dr. Darwin Chen, Assistant Professor of Orthopedic Surgery at Mount Sinai Hospital in the Lenny and Peter W. May Department of Orthopedics. Dr. Chen, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks, Shauna. Thanks for having me. In the U.S. alone, there's close to one million knee and hip replacements right. performed. Right. And that's every year. How do you know if you are a good candidate for these kinds of joint repair surgeries? Right. So, so hip and knee replacements, one of the most common orthopedic procedures that we perform today, really increases function and decreases pain, and, and is one of the most dramatic medical interventions that we have today in all of medicine. The uh, the hip and knee replacements uh, candidates are ones that have severe debilitating pain that affects activities of daily living. Let's talk about knee replacement surgery. Right. What's that process specifically like? What essentially happens is we resurface the arthritic knee uh, on the femur, which is the end of the thigh bone. We cap the end of the femur and replace the cartilage with a, a metal implant uh, that's smooth and round. Uh, on the tibia side, which is the top of the shin bone, uh, we cap it with a metal implant as well. And between those two metal surfaces, we put a plastic insert, which has low wear characteristics. And this serves as the new functional cartilage layer. What about hip replacement surgery? What's that process like? Sure, so a hip replacement is, is another excellent option for arthritic hips. Essentially, the hip is a ball and socket joint. The socket is also replaced with a metal shell with a plastic liner inside. The ball side is replaced with either a metal or ceramic ball, typically. And that metal ball is, uh, is, uh, is supported with a uh, metal stem that goes into the top of the thigh bone. These implants are typically made of a porous type metal which grows into the bone and fuses to you, essentially becomes part of you. And how long is a typical stay in a hospital after a procedure like this? Well, a typical hospital stay is about two to three days. Patients who are young and healthy who undergo joint replacement will go home after surgery as opposed to a rehab center or a nursing facility. How long should you anticipate having to stay away from physical activity like tennis? Usually at two weeks you're walking well with minimal assistive devices. Usually at six weeks you're back to re return to full, full normal activity. At about three months you're back full strength and possibly even more. And usually by six months, even four to six months, you're back to things like tennis, hiking, or golf. I think it's very obvious if you need joint replacement surgery, you're very capable hands at Mount Sinai. Thanks very much. Thank you again very much. And thank you so much for watching us here at the U.S. Open Health Desk. Don't forget to continue to check back to the video section at usopen.org throughout the entire tournament for more tips and information from our doctors. I'm your host, Shauna Ryan. Until next time, we'll see you here on the U.S. Open Health Desk presented by Mount Sinai.